Hey YouTube, um, I am going to go over characteristics of Yahweh and Yeshua. And Yahweh means the self-existent one, the eternal one. So here are some of his characteristics. And when I say he, I mean that loosely because um, I believe that he encompasses male and female characteristics and is beyond gender. So just so you know. Um, okay, characteristics of Yahweh, the prime mover. Is, when he's called Elohim, um, what's commonly translated as God, that's what, this is what it actually means. This is what Elohim means, as far as I can figure out. The prime mover, strongest authority, gentle protector. That's what Elohim means. Um, other character, and his name means eternally self-existent. The eternally self-existent one. Then he's also defined as love, which would be like giving love, the kind of love that's caring about others to the point where you just give and give. Um, and that is Yohanan or John 3.16 and 1st Yohanan or 4.8. Um, he's also separate from anything impure, corrupt, or less than himself. Um, a lot of times when you see holy, that's the word that it comes from is Kodesh and means separate or set apart. means separate so he's separate from anything um less um supra gender which i you know i was explaining um inclusive of but beyond the limits of gender um the aleph and the tau which is a lot of translations has as the alpha and omega that's the greek letters the hebrew letters would be the aleph and the tau the first letters of the hebrew al alphabet um peaceful um hebrews are ibrim 1320 patient First Yohanan 4.8, kind, gentle, um, second Shemuel 22.36, compassionate, Tehila or Psalm um, 116.5, just, forgiving, Ephesians 4.32, passionate, precious and beautiful, Shemot or um, Exodus 34.6, Ephesians 1.5-8, and Yohanan 1.16, attentively devoted, all-knowing, omniscient, um, Proverbs 15.3 and First Chronicles 28.9 and also Psalms 139.2. All-powerful, omnipotent, um, Yeshiyahu, I think, or Isaiah 42.5 and Revelations 11.17 and 19.6. All-truthful, able to do all things, Lucas 1.37 which would, of course, fall in line with all-powerful. Um, All-present, um, omnipresent, Psalm 139, 7 through 8, and Yirmiyahu or Jeremiah 23, 24. All-wise, all-caring, all-truthful, Bamidbar or Numbers 25, 19, and Titus 1, 2. Um, immortal, incapable of dying, he cannot die. Tehillim, 90 verse 2, 102 verse 12, Romans, oh, that would be Psalms, um, Romans 1 verse 23, and 1 Timothy or Timothy 6 verses 16 through 17. He's invisible, um, untemptable, Jacob 1 or James 1 13, um, emotional, anger, pleasure, sorrow, hate, love, joy. Those are some of the emotions that I've noticed throughout scripture that he has. Patient, um, superior to all others and everything else. Supreme. Spirit, ruach, breath, wind, essence, character. That, that kind of describes what he's like since we know that he's not a physical, physical form. He can't be detected with the five senses. Um, it's more like, I think maybe he's mind, you know, mind over matter kind of thing. Anyways, Yohanan or John 4 verse 24. Um, not a human or an ish or a man or a son of a human or a man, or Adam, Bamidbar, Numbers 23, 19, and Shemuel Aleph, or 1 Samuel 15, verse 29. Unchangeable, Malachi 3, verse 6, or Malachi. Um, I believe that he is hope, he is good, he is ultimate, he is eternal in the past, present, and future, beyond time, timeless. He's ageless, he's the Aleph and the Tau, um, Revelations 1, 18, 21, 6, and 22, 13. He's upright and righteous. He's purposeful. He's the highest authority. He's involved. He's organized. He's giving. He's mature. He's whole and complete. Well, he's maturity, actually. He's perfect. He's merciful. Devarim, Deuteronomy 4, verse 31. 
he's fatherly and motherly. Uh, there's scripture verses, I'm not, I don't have them right now, but I could find them if somebody wants me to, that um, indicate that he is both fatherly and motherly. Um, he's always watchful, always in control, beyond comprehension or imagining. So some of my descriptions are just like attempts. Um, understanding, creative, deep, exceptional, most important, pure, unique, awesome, outstanding, doesn't make mistakes, does everything right, which is very interesting considering the world we're living in, but I could talk more about that later. Um, make something from nothing, beauty from ugliness, light in darkness, good from what's bad. I think this is, like, if he had a job description, that would be his job description. Um, like, I think if, if you would ask him, what do you do? What's your job? He'd say, I redeem. That's what I do. I, I take beauty from ugliness, light from dark. Um, I make something from nothing. It's, I, I, I bring good where there's bad. That's what I do. That, that's his job description. Um, he hates wickedness, lying, pride and haughtiness, harming the innocent, idolatry, betrayal, unfaithfulness, deception, and theft. Um, he does not and cannot sin or do wrong or stray from what's right. Greater than all others, Yeshua included, non-hypocritical. And um, my final description of him is, greater than the sum total of all things in whom there is no lack. I believe that that is very true. Um, let me see how I'm doing time-wise. Oh, I'm fine. Um, Yeshua who is commonly called Jesus. His name means Yahweh is rescue. That's what his name actually means. Um, descriptions of him. The image of Yahweh. Mashiach ben Yosef, which means the Messiah son of Joseph or anointed one son of Yosef. Um, Hamashiach ben David, which means the anointed one son of David or um, Messiah son of David, the king of the Yehudim. Um, Hanetzer, which means the branch. Zemach Zedekah, which means upright branch, um, son of Adam, or son of man, son of Yahweh, um, where he's called son of God, I think, I believe that the term is probably Yahweh. Um, that's in Matityahu 5.9, Lucas 20, verse 36, and Romans 1.4. Um, it's the living Torah, Hanabi of Yahweh, the prophet of Yahweh, where it's talked about in Deuteronomy, saying that Moses is talking about how he's gonna, Yahweh's gonna send a prophet like him. Um, the servant of Yahweh, Kohen Hagadol, the high priest according to Melchizedek, um, the bread of life, the way, the truth, and the life, the light of the world, firstborn from the dead, our older brother, the faithful witness, ruler over the kings of the earth, the word or message of Yahweh, bridegroom, advocate, cornerstone, bright morning star, faithful, Yahweh dwelt in him, Yohanan 14 verse 10. Um, Yahweh is his God, or Elohim, Yohanan 20, verse 17, speaks and does what Yahweh tells him to, came to do Yahweh's will, Yohanan, or John 5, 30, 8, 28, and 15, I mean, uh, 14, 31. Lesser than Yahweh, Yohanan, or John 14, 28, didn't come on his own initiative, Yohanan 8, 42, can't accomplish anything on his own initiative, Yohanan 5, 30. Can't testify about himself without higher authority. Yohanan 5:31. He was tempted. Matthew 4, 1 through 11, Ibrim 2:18 and 4:15. A man, a son of man, Adam. Limited knowledge. Marcos 13:32 or Mark 13:32. Was born, died, but alive now and forever. Got tired. Yohanan 4:6. Um, got hungry and thirsty. Matthew 21:18, Marcos 11:12 and Yohanan 19:28 learned obedience and was made perfect, mature, he was made mature through suffering. Ibrahim 2.10, 5, or Hebrews 2.10, 5, 8 through 9, and 7.28. Others will do greater things than he, see Yohanan 14.12, was unable to do a miracle, Marcos, or Mark 6.5, and I believe, personally, that this passage applies to him. He was short. Lucas 19, or Luke 19.3. So, those are their characteristics, which I think are very, very interesting. I'm going to go into that more in the next video, but um, if you have anything to add, feel free to in the comments. I'd be intrigued to see what anyone had to add to it. Um, but that's all for now. Shalom, goodbye, and have a good life.